I'm running elementary on boxes, and I'm saying because the performance is bad, and some animations don't even work. So be aware of it! Meanwhile isn't like a baby gnome? Look how cute is it! Actually I believe that's the best way to run elementary! Anyway, let's start! So there is this app, that I don't even know what it does, and it doesn't even matter. What matters, is from the menu we can enable an indicator. Then we can close the window, and access it from the indicators menu. I'm saying because I want to see that on GNOME 2, for the apps that run on background, although I'd prefer another placement, like the notifications in Shell Calendar. Another elementary fresh installation, and again this stupid stupid behavior. We tap super key, and overlay help opens. Not on long tap, just single tap. The most used key sacrificed on the less used functionality. Someone may say that's good for new users to easily discover shortcuts. Then why not add help overlay on enter key? Just to make super sure, because some keyboards are missing super. Okay, let's change that. Assuming we already know we can change it. So, we open system settings, and on layout tab we can set super to open the menu. Now we tap super and application menu opens, although I would prefer we could open overview like shell, but there isn't such an option. But the question is, how we can open overlay help now? Oh, but it is very straightforward. We open settings, we go to keyboard, then we go to shortcuts. Then we go to custom, then we press that tiny tiny plus icon, then we type io, dot elementary, dot shortcut, hyphen overlay, and then we set the shortcut we want, for example super and d. You see? Everything was very straightforward. There are two things I do first on a new Linux installation. I install Z shell and I resize my mouse. I don't have any disability apart my brain damage, and I will come back to that later, but I just can't work with 24 size cursor. I need the 36. So I open settings and go to mouse preferences. But there is nothing here. Except that pointer icon that is trolling me, because it is bigger than me. But mouse size is also a major accessibility feature, so probably is on universal access? No. It is not, but Orca is here. Let me explain you what Orca is. Imagine you are perfectly healthy, then you open Orca for just a few minutes, and that was it. Next time you are permitted to park your car on disabled parking. Screen reader on. Universal access frame. Screen reader off. Once I accidentally opened Orca in an older version of GNOME, and I didn't know how to close it. And you see the results now? I used to be just fine before that. Flatpak support on App Center isn't something new, and I had demos on that months ago. Actually I'm not even sure why I'm uploading this video, but whatever. What's really new, is that the Flatpak support arrived on elementary release. But there are a couple of interesting things happening, and I will start by opening a web browser. So, Flathub, and on quick setup there is now an elementary icon. On description says that elementary comes with Flatpak support out of box which isn't exactly true. Elementary does have Flatpak pre-installed, but there isn't any Flatpak remote configured. Besides the plan is to create a Flatpak store exclusively for Elementary, similar to Fedora OCI, and I will go through all terrible things happening on Flatpak on another video. For now let me show you how Flatpak currently works on Elementary. So I will go back to Flathub, and I will pick an app to install. I'm gonna do drawing because that's the app I use on my demos, and I don't want to scare the hell out of you by using something different. Now, if I click on install button, it will download the Flatpak reference, and if I click on that, it will open the sideload app. So, what's the sideload app? According to official elementary documentation, sideload facilitates a safer way to help users get sandboxed apps. But according to reality, 
Hashtag we just fucked up. Sideload will do two things. First it will install flat hub remote, and second it will install the app in all necessary runtimes, in this case GNOME Platform 3.34. One thing is the awful UX, with whatever windows popping up, instead of App Center. But there is something much more terrible than this. So, let me install drawing and I will show you. By the way I already have installed GNOME Runtime, so the download is pretty small. All done, and let me close everything else and open a terminal to show you what just happened. Sideload installed Flathub on user, which means all the apps will be on user too, and inaccessible from any other account. I don't know why they did that, but it gets better, and by better I mean even worse. I'm going to close terminal, and open App Center now. The problem with App Center is that by design only displays remotes and apps that are installed on user. On the other hand, Flatpak CLI by default uses system operations unless we explicitly set user. Again, I don't know the reason elementary prefers user rather system installations, I don't even believe there is an actual reason, but it is an unholy mess, and I had to check on GitHub issues to figure out what the hell is going on, and so much for the great UX for everyone by elementary. Anyway, assuming we don't touch CLI at all, we had sideload to add the Flathub remote on user, we had drawing installed, and let's check on some more apps. That's Fondo that is both available on Flathub and elementary repository, and that's the drop down on more than one locations. And I had it installed previously from Flathub. Another thing I personally consider ridiculous, are the warnings for the no curated apps. So, that's the official GNOME Fonts app, that is non-curated both from Ubuntu and Flathub repositories, so if we are going to install it we'll get this warning like we are doing something totally wrong. Meanwhile the 95% of whatever is on elementary, comes straight from Ubuntu repositories, and quite honestly? What the fuck are those things guys? Then, there are some bugs. For example, when I search for GIMP, it will give me two separated search results, one from Ubuntu repository and one from Flathub. That's Flatpak GIMP, and it misses the dropdown for some reason. And that's Ubuntu GIMP, that also misses the dropdown, and pretty much the app data like the screenshots. And that's the end of this sweet review, and my final impression is that App Center and GNOME software is like a what's worse contest, because Flatpak is quite strong in features, the CLI is totally awesome, but when it comes on graphical app stores, they're both failing hard. But what I really really want to see, is an official elementary Flatpak repository with all their community apps inside. It would be perfect if we had a central Flatpak store for everyone, but since we can't have that, at least let's have what we can have.